Hello, I'm Adam and today I will show you some interesting modules which can replace your power supply. Uh, so, uh, what's my problem or use case for those? Uh, I've got a boiler and uh, I have installed additional module to control it and uh, I need a power supply for that, but I don't want to uh, lose a uh, wall socket for this purpose and the wall socket is, uh, for example, uh, 1 amp, 5 uh, watts, so it's uh, way uh, too much for the ESP, <coughs> which only connects to the Wi-Fi. Uh, and I've got another uh, device that uh, has a power consumption up to 5 volts, 300 milliamps, so uh, both are working on 5 volts and I decided to create a power supply for them. And in this video I want to present you uh, two modules which can create a pretty nice power supply uh, which can be built uh, somewhere. And uh, yeah, the main goal is that those are low uh, power, uh, power supplies. Uh, so those are suitable for powering your ESP32 or the ESP8266. And uh, yeah, so uh, I've got uh, two examples of those modules. Uh, the first one is the Minwell. I'm not sure if you will see anything. Or maybe you will see something. And uh, the second module is from a company named Aimtech. I don't know them, but uh, I had to buy a 5 volt version and uh, Minwell was not available. And as you can see, or not, uh, there we've got uh, 5 volts, uh, 600 milliamps output. And in this uh, meanwhile example, we've got uh, 5 volts, 0.4 amp output. Uh, so uh, if I want to power two devices, which uh, if I remember, uh, should stay uh, below this limit. I think the total maximum on the paper would be 500 milliamps or even 400. So that's pretty nice choose to have uh, optimized uh, and uh, rightly choose power supply to the load. Because if, uh, for example, we get a 10 watt power supply, like from your mobile phone, and you will connect a ESP32, which consumes let's say very very uh, less uh, power than your phone uh, that means uh, the charger is working inefficiently because it's uh, below the uh, efficiency threshold where it has let's say good efficiency those things uh, has efficiency at above 70 percent i think around almost 80 or something so that's pretty nice at low loads. That's why you should choose a lower, uh, lower wattage uh, power supply to power a lower wattage devices. Yeah. Okay. And uh, in this video, I will be using uh, Aimtech on the left. So, uh, and uh, I will do on this example because in meanwhile, we don't have got uh, this uh, data probably from meanwhile you have just to uh, connect uh, AC and you've got DC out and uh, everything what was needed like capacitors or something is uh, built inside and uh, the Aimtech fortunately for us uh, provides a, a typical application circuit schematic and uh, there it is uh, of course there are a few variants of uh, making it we don't need the EMC circuit so uh, I could just cut it like this and it will be fine still oh and there is a exact model which I'm using uh, the power supply and now we can see uh, this is the thing and now we can see uh, to be honest uh, I thought it would be uh, it won't require that much of components but yeah it will be very nice and safe power supply I must say because uh, on the schematic what we've got we've got fuse so if there will be any short circuit the fuse will blow and will be safe 
Uh, we've got the. Oh, I forgot that. Uh, what's interesting there we've got a, a 12 ohm 3 watts resistor to limit the power consumption uh, let's say just to be to make it way safer yeah uh, and uh, from the DC side we've got uh, two capacitors and uh, as you can see different model requires different capacitors and those capacitors are for filtering the output voltage so it will be very nice and smooth and at the end we've got a diode for uh, over voltage protection let's uh, get the implementation and uh, that's how uh, parts are looking i'm about to use uh, this kind of prototype board with one uh, node uh, on the left yeah, there we've got AC side, and as you can see, I will put it on the. Um, okay, and now as you can see, uh, there are paths between. Uh, if you if we are using the uh, high voltage like two hundred thirty AC, I recommend removing the middle paths. I will do it later, but remember about that. And okay, uh, now let's. Uh, put it somehow in a nice way to uh, have a nice uh, design on the board and we'll solder it okay that's how it looks I wanted to make it compact as possible and generally target achieved okay and uh, as I mentioned before uh, how to remove those pad between the high voltage uh, I get just soldering iron and I just uh, push the pin and overheat it and bam <laughs> very simple again in, in closer look I push turn around and bam so there is no conductance and yeah as you can see okay that's how it looks And we've got nice 5 volts. Yay! And that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.